Hello, Sonoma County. All right, you've been house hunting and now you have found the home of your dreams and you want to write an offer on it. How do we ensure that we submit the strongest offer possible to increase your chances of the seller accepting your offer? This is crucial, very crucial. I'm Julie. I'm Morgan. And we help people move into and out of and all around Sonoma County every year. So whether you're making a move now or in a few months, go ahead and reach out or click subscribe, hit the bell, and be notified when we release more information about all things real estate and Sonoma County. So most likely when you found the house that you love, other people may be loving it too. And even if they're not, you still want to wow the sellers and submit the best offer you possibly can. Absolutely. So the first step would be your realtor, your lender, and you, you're all going to get together mm -hmm. and look at the overall picture, the financing and the terms you are able to offer. Your realtor should call the listing agent yep. and find out what the sellers are looking for. Um, more than just price, you'd be surprised. Sometimes price is not always the most important thing to these sellers. They may have other needs that they need met to make this sale and their next move happen. So when we call the listing agent as the realtor involved, we are going to ask a couple of very specific questions. Um, one of which is about the timeline. We're going to ask, what are the seller's plans once this property is sold? Are they moving directly from this house to a next? Are they purchasing that house? And we need to coordinate with that timeline. Are they renting and a little bit more lax on what that timeline looks like? Or sometimes, and this happens quite often, are they moving possibly out of the area to start a new job and they have a firm deadline of when they need to be sold and be out of this house? So we will coordinate that, make sure that we look at the contract period and the length of time and try to find a mutually beneficial you know, decision between you as the buyer and them as the seller. Um, this may even also come back to a what's called a rent back where the sellers need a little extra time after you've closed on the home. So they essentially rent the home back from you as the buyer until they can get moved into their next property. Um, the second terms piece that we always ask about is inspections and disclosures. Um, first of which is inspections. And a lot of times these days, sellers are doing pre-listing inspections. They have a third party inspector, a home inspector, pest inspector, roof inspector, and so on. Um, come out to the property, look it over in depth, and then have a written report so we can really understand the condition of the property. Super helpful when we can look at that ahead of time, of course. Oh, um, sellers are also required to fill out several seller specific disclosures about their experience and history at that property. So between the disclosures and the inspections, that's a very in-depth look of what's going on at the property. Not always are these available before you write the offer. And so we will take into account whether we have them or not when we write in the length of inspection period within the offer, if we need to do more inspections, or if we need to account for time to review the documents that they do have, but we haven't gotten to see them yet. So we'll take all that information of the terms and make sure we position you to be protected, but also write a competitive offer. So then on top of the terms, we have the financing piece. Yep. So you will be pre-approved by your lender, of course, before we write an offer, because when we submit the offer, we're gonna submit it with the pre-approval letter. That's telling the sellers that yes, you are indeed qualified to purchase this home at the price you are offering. So part of the financing is we have to look at your loan type, your down payment amount, and your earnest money deposit amount, which is part of your down payment, but it's still just kind of showing you have some teeth in the game. I mean, sometimes your loan type is what it is. It's the loan you best fit in for your financial situation. And that could be dependent on your down payment amount or your credit score or your debt to income ratio. And that's okay. Absolutely. And that's why we leverage some of the terms Morgan just talked about mm -hmm. to submit our strongest offer. Now, what if price is the most important thing? Yeah. The listing agent tells us price is the most important thing to the sellers. They don't really need a rent back. They don't need any of this. They want the highest price. Yep. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Right? So we look at comparable sales in the neighborhood. Yep. What is recently sold that's very similar yep. to that house in size and condition? Look at what the, that pricing look like. Take, hopefully there are some inspections done. We can kind of take in uh, take that into consideration with price. 
And then it basically comes down to what are you willing to pay for this home to hopefully secure it yeah. for you know for you. Honestly, that's a common question we ask our mm -hmm. our buyers, no matter whether price is most important or not. It really has to come down to the value you see in the property and the price right. you're willing to pay. I mean, it is a long-term purchase. It's not like yeah, totally. Real estate is a long game, so Absolutely. paying another five thousand is not really breaking the bank on it if it's the if home it's, of your dreams and the neighborhood you want etc absolutely absolutely and then we also have one more cherry on top to help seal the deal and get your offer accepted and this is when a seller is willing to accept them we always encourage our buyers to write an offer letter and what this is it's just a personal note a little introduction of who you are as the home buyer coming in to purchase their home i mean when you think about it they've lived there for however many years, made memories, raised families, things like that. It's nice to know who's possibly taking over that property after you. And so you can explain what you love about the property and why you think it's the right fit and maybe tug at those heartstrings a little bit. And so if the seller gets two offers that are very similar, yours and someone else's, but yours is with a very heartfelt, meaningful letter, we actually see that often the sellers go that direction. So. I'll keep there's, that in mind. There's a lot of emotional attachment Absolutely. To, to these homes with sellers. Um, so I hope that helps kind of explain the yeah. different steps we can take and the different ways we can leverage different pieces of the offer to help you submit the strongest offer. If you want to learn more about that or you're getting ready to enter the home buying yeah. arena, go ahead and reach out. We'd be happy to take a look at your personal situation. Absolutely. And so if this video was helpful, go ahead and click like, tap subscribe, hit the bell and be notified when we release more useful information about all things real estate and Sonoma County. Thank you so much for watching.